Hi, and welcome back to another episode of PainFreeFinally.com. I'm your host, Greg Rollette, here with Houston's senior specialist, Dr. John Trowbridge. And in this episode, I want to talk about something that, you know, some kids use as like a party trick. Right. When they say, you know, I'm double jointed, you know, right. and they're, they're doing all these crazy things with their body and it freaks some people out, right? It really um, does, yeah. Pop things and whatever. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's super cute, right? <laughs> but uh, is this... It, a, it is when you're young. It is, definitely. Uh, <laughs> yep, but when you get yep. older, let, let's talk about, you know, A, is this... Is is it a real thing to be double jointed? And right. B, is that is that a blessing? Is that a curse? Is that a good thing? And where's the pain come in? The, the, the blessing is you're a party animal, okay? Whatever. Yeah, exactly. The, the curse is, is that double jointedness means that the rubber bands holding you together are are lax. They're they're loose, okay? Okay. They don't hold you together tightly. That, that's why I put the knee model out here, because you're being held together by all these rubber bands. Your your bones and joints depend on that. Yeah. Think of it like this. We have a frame on a door because you don't want it swinging both ways and stretching those hinges. Yeah. Okay. Good example is when the city kids go out to the farm and they want to hang on the gate and swing, and the farmer's got to get them off because once those those hinges are out of line, he'll never get them back in line. It'll always yeah. be a problem. That's what happens to our joints. Now, the, the deal is this. People have different degrees of double jointedness. I mean, some of them are doing the knuckles and the wrists and all that stuff. Others actually have a significant disease problem called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Okay. Now, this has been described in the, in the past few dozen years as a genetic issue where you don't make the rubber bands quite right, okay? These collagen support tissues don't quite get the picture, okay? Okay. And so they're not as tight as they need to be. So it's like having a door frame that doesn't quite protect your hinges, and that's your joints, and that's how come you get arthritis changes. Now you can have them from the top all the way down because all of these bones are held together by joints uh, mm -hmm. that have support tissues. Yeah. And, and even the muscles have these rubber bands that attach them to the bones. Those are called tendons. The ones bone to bone are called ligaments, fancy names. The, the deal is this, double jointedness is what makes a lot of entertainment, okay? So for instance, you see the gymnasts. Right. I mean, they are spectacular. But if you take a look, they're wearing elbow support, knee support, ankle support, because they're so able to do all these wonderful things, their rubber bandedness has gotten them in trouble. Okay. They are double jointed. Okay. And and I, I didn't know my problem was double jointed. Uh, my mother used to say, straighten your legs out. And I'm my legs are straight. Like, no. Trying. They were bending backwards. Okay. My knees would bend backwards. Wow. Okay. Now that's uh, not a normal position. No. And and then there are people who can do what I call the the bridge over troubled waters. They put their arm out and it just kind of curves like that. Yeah. And those folks actually have a variant on these hypermobility syndromes. It's called too much motion. Yeah. Or hyperlaxity, okay, that's too too loose. And those folks are going to get arthritic troubles, especially if they try sports. I tried all the sports. I got injured all the time because my joints weren't being protected. Yeah. That's how I ended up with low back surgery, two neck operations repeated dislocations on the shoulder where I refused the surgery, things like that. Getting this treated for me has been magic in my life. I mean, you know, I've injured literally everything. You know, the discs inside your, your backbones and stuff, mm -hmm. those discs are made of the same kind of thing wrapped around as a little donut yeah. with jelly in the middle. So that's, that's the same kind of weakened tissue when you have hypermobility syndrome. What do we do about it and when do we do something about it? Because again, it's cute when you're a kid, right? Right, it's cute um, when you're a kid. But, but when, do, is it at the first sign of pain? Is it the first sign of trouble? Like, what, what do we do about this? It, it kind of depends on what you need to use. If it's gotten in the way of, of your job, that's important. Mm -hmm. Of raising your kids, that's important. I, I got to the point where, um, you know, my, my two-year-old daughter weighing 20 pounds, dripping wet, picked me up, Daddy. Oh, I didn't want to because right. I was, I was going to have, you know, lightning pains here or there. If it gets in the way, I'll tell you, my dad used to have new shoes blues, is what he called it. And, and we'd go wherever it took to find shoes that made his feet feel comfortable because he had the same genetic issue that I do. Mm -hmm. And so the key is how much does it interfere in your life? Interference can both be function, capabilities, and comfort. How much pain do you live with? If you're living with pain where you have to take drugs repeatedly or advancing drugs, more of those kind of problems, 
or someone has even proposed surgery for you, oh, you better be checking on stem cells because that can be a remarkable yeah. treatment. Now, you mentioned stem cells, yes. right? And that's what we're here to talk about today. Yes. How do stem cells help repair in this situation? Gosh, it's such a great story, okay? What we do is we go in and we find the spots in your rubber bands that are hurting because that's where it's screaming for repair. Yeah. We inject some stem cells and they go to work to literally build those tissues tighter than you've had them before. They've been loosened, now they tighten up. Okay. It's remarkable. But it's your healing that's happening. It's not, we're not stapling you together or screwing you together or whatever. Yeah. And the neat thing is it can actually help resurface tissues that have been injured inside joints, like discs inside the knee, or even the joint surface itself. The beauty is, is that you're doing the healing where you need to, and these cells will wander and find other joints that need repair How cool as is well. that? Yeah. That is totally too cool, because you can have a few treatments and get lots of results. Which is what we want. Exactly. Right? Um, so again, for, for someone who has you know, double jointedness, right? Mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, they, they start experiencing this pain. Right. And well, they get told they have arthritis. Yeah. Okay. And the, and the reason they do is because they've wobbled themselves. They've, they've started to stress the hinges. Yeah. And can, can this start young, the arthritis? Oh, well, mine did. Yeah. Uh, when I was 20 years old and, and re-injured my back, I had x-rays done and the orthopedic surgeon said, if I didn't know you were 20, I'd say these were the x-rays of a 70 year old man. Wow. So. I mean, that's how you end up with back surgery and neck surgery and so on. I injured everything not knowing that I had this problem. Most people don't know. Exactly. So again, they don't know what they don't know. Exactly. Um, and, then and they, they don't get, know how to get results for it. Right. And, they, and so is the other alternative of not knowing what you don't know, is it surgery, it's prescription drugs, drugs. it's masking the pain, it's doing all of those or things. Or wearing supports or getting rehab constantly or yeah. living your way through it. That That is not fun, enduring your way. You know, it's not 24 seven, it's 25 eight. There's just no relief. Yeah. And, um, and, and there is relief with the stem cells. That's the beauty. I tell patients, you deserve more. You deserve the best treatment that I use for me for my healing, which I had yeah. as an issue and which works great for me. Yeah, what I love about this is that you've gone through this oh, yourself. So you exactly. know you know firsthand, you're not the doc you know, prescribing things that you don't know anything about. Exactly. You did it firsthand. I know you've researched with some of the top doctors and physicians all across the right. country, all over the world. Right. And now you have a way to really help people exactly. to... And, and these are unique stem cells. They are really able to do the job because you have a lot of job to do. You don't realize it because it was just a party trick before. Yeah. Now it's not a party trick. The arthritis gets serious. It affects your fingers, your wrist, yeah. your elbow, your shoulder. Just name a joint. Yes. Yeah, now it's stopping you from doing your daily exactly. functions. Exactly. I mean, people get TMJ problems and they can't chew comfortably. We're talking serious stuff here that wasn't serious when it started. Exactly. And now is the time to do something about it. You're watching this video because you either are someone who is in pain because of this or you know someone who is in pain because of this. And it all starts by going to painfreefinally.com when you can check out some of this information. And more importantly, you can take a short quiz that we put together to help you answer some questions to see if stem cell treatment is the right treatment to help you repair yourself naturally. And that site again is painfreefinally.com where you can take the quiz and get started so one one day soon you can wake up and say, I am pain free finally. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.